everybody. This is a quick little tutorial as to why the uh, slopes of uh, li tangent lines or derivatives of inverse functions are reciprocals. So let's get after it here with a couple of examples. I've got a red function here that's on our Desmos screen that is y is equal to x squared plus 2. You'll notice I restricted the domain to things greater than or equal to 0 so I could really focus my energy on where this does have an inverse because if I graph the whole parabola it certainly would not have an inverse. Uh, and I've also got its inverse function here uh, root of x minus 2 that's the green function here. And you'll see that on the left side I've got the tangent lines already queued up uh, at specific points. So I'm going to tell you where those are. At 1 comma 3, which uh, is going to be right there on the red function. If I want the corresponding point on the inverse, then I have to switch the x and the y. So switching the x and the y puts me, uh, let me get down there at 3, 1. Okay, so that's the corresponding point on the inverse function. Okay, so let me bring in the tangent line here. And that blue line that is tangent to the red one, that's tangent to at x is equal to 1. And now here's the tangent line at x is equal to 3 on the inverse. That's the purple line. So what I'm saying is the slope of the purple line and the slope of the blue line, those two are inverses of or, or reciprocals of each other. Okay. Now, lucky for us, Desmos is going to be able to help us figure out what those are. If I just type in f prime of 1, I get 2. And if I type in g prime of the x-coordinate there, which is 3, I get 1 half. Okay, now why did I have to type in 3? Because 3 is the x-coordinate here. It's what happens when you take the inverse and switch the domain and range. So that is how come those are going to be reciprocals of each other. I hope that kind of helps the cause a little bit.